These days, there are more 9mm pistols than you can count. You can pay anywhere from just over $200 to, well, well over $1,000. Now, most people are not interested or don't have the coin for a $700 pistol. Um, question is, what can you get for under $300? Well, you can frequently find Stoger's STR9 for under $300. What can you get in a 9mm for under $300? Quality? Performance? Let's find out. Let's go 25 yards here with just the iron sights. <laughs> That's proof in the pudding! <laughs> okay, sorry. I'm Drew Case. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion, where I only give you my honest opinion, and it is what it is. And yeah, I'm old, and I watched Hitman, and I've, I've always wanted to do this. Now, actually, I have found and reviewed several 9 mil pistols for under $300 that performed as well or better than many of the double or triple that cost. Now, let's see how STR-9 performs. I've got two. I've got just kind of the standard STR9, the full size, and then I have the optics ready, which is just a little bit shorter. Other than the barrel length and the the ability optics ready, they are identical in everything. Trigger pull, breakdown, everything. So that's why I'm actually going to review both of them together. Okay, so for the optic, I'm testing Viridian's new RFX 35, okay? I'm gonna have this on a completely separate review, but you're, you're gonna see some overlap because obviously I'm testing the Stoger Optics Ready with an optic on it. Okay, let's just take a quick look at the specs and tech and an up close before we start with both of these. Now, as, as you would expect with, you know, something at this price level, you know, it actually has a really good instruction manual. Pretty simple when we open it up. This band was around here. I took that off. Okay. We come with a lock, nothing fancy, and a mag loader. Okay. First thing I notice when I'm looking at this is it does have interchangeable back straps. They don't send the different back straps. That's one thing that I would recommend considering changing. If I'm going to have interchangeable back straps, I'd like to have them and I don't necessarily want to order them because I'm not sure how they're going to fit. I think for the cost of the polymer and the back straps, they really should include that. It's got some scallops here for the mag. I like that. You know, if for some reason, like here, it's a little stiff, we've got a nice stainless steel mag. As far as the ergonomics and the grip, I will say it's very comfortable. I really like that. We've got the slide release up here. We've got the safety built into the trigger. It is striker fired. We have iron sights, okay, and they're metal, not polymer. I really like that. They also make sure and include the white dots, which I think is important. We've got the chamber indicator up here. It is not complete ambidextrous. We've got a nice rail here and it's going to have, you know, what I consider the classic sort of Glock breakdown, which I really like. Double check and we're empty here. Now this is like most of them. It's not going to pull down until we fire or pull the trigger. Pull that back. That slides down. Our slide comes off. And then we have quick and easy disassemble. You know, this is a really popular way of doing it. 
slides back on, and away we go. We've got some really aggressive serrations here, which I like. Okay, they have a sharp edge facing towards your fingers the way that you would push. And that's it. You know, this is this is KISS. Got a scallop here for thumb placement. Then we go to the optics version. Everything's the same, except we do have the different plates, which allows us a fairly good variability with optics. And I really like this. I've had a few, you know, Springfield had one, or was it Ruger? And you had to get the plate separate. And that's just nonsense to me. If you're gonna have an optics ready pistol, then you need to have the variety of plates so that the person doesn't have to order the plate separate. You, you shouldn't have to order anything separate. Same thing then with the back strap, okay? And then up here, we have this nice tapered ergonomic, you know, nice looking plate. We'll take that off. I'll get a ma uh, optic mounted on there. And then everything else is going to be the same. I do see that the trigger is just a little bit different on this one. Let's just do a side-by-side -side comparison. So when we have the optics version compared to just the basic, it is ever so slightly shorter. Other than that, they appear to be identical other than the trigger. The trigger is a little bit more curved with the optics ready. The safety is a little bit pro more pronounced on that, but everything else is gonna be the same. For whatever reason, on this version, we have a little more straight or flat trigger. Okay, just quick note, the screws that are holding down the optics cover where I'm gonna put the plates are just, you know, regular screwdriver. That I don't care for. I've had, <laughs> over the years, bad luck with these stripping much more so than the Torx. I would like to see these as Torx or an Allen wrench. You know, and the feedback that I gave Stoker is, is you really need, and this is actually for any pistol optics ready that has plates or anybody that makes the optics, got to have screws that are of the highest strength that are Torx, okay? I have run into it with almost all the optics out there, the red dots that go on pistols, Screws that strip easy, that break, that aren't hex, okay, and, and they strip there as well. So all that are watching, don't skimp on screws for, for any and all the above. Anyway, just a couple things I wanted to note. Um, I've done a lot of tourist reviews and a lot of this, the screws are not Loctite. These are. Thing is, is this is not wanting to come free. I'm gonna have to work on this to get this off so I can get my plate on it. It's kind of stuck on there. Okay, I finally got it off. Now I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I had to get uh, a little handheld torch and heat this up and take a plastic mallet. <laughs> I had to bang the crap out of this to get it to break free. It just did not want to come off. So, you know, <laughs> with Taurus, we've had the problem with they don't lock tight. Uh, they got a little too much lock tight on here or something because this was a real son of a gun to get off. But we got it off, so let's get the optic mounted. Okay, so I got this zeroed using the Winchester ammo. Special thanks, Winchester, uh, for providing the ammo for this review. Let's just see what I can do at 50 yards with the, the Stoger STR9 with this Viridian red dot before we go back to the CQB range and use both the red dot and the non-red dot version of the STR9. I think I got that dialed in. I'm gonna go ahead and do 10 more. Should take a look here, see what we got. So that's what we got for sight picture at 50 yards. All right, I just shot my second round of 10 there of the Winchester. I think it's, I think it's a nice group. Let's go check it out. All right. 
I had some over here. I started off and I had about three there and then I adjusted up and to the right and I came up a little high and then I adjusted down and I think guys I'm pretty happy with that you know benching <laughs> with a nine mil at 50 yards that's not bad that works for me let's go back and have some fun in the CQB range on some steel hey real quick I get lots of questions on the iPro okay these are my Leopold uh, pack out uh, there'll be a link there you can check those out and when it comes to loading your mags if you do not have an up Lula you are behind the curve okay let's just see what we can do here with the Stoger we're gonna go with the one with the Viridian RFX 35 here got some Winchester ammo a nice nice bright green dot this should be relatively simple Like that. Let's go uh, 25 yards there. Where's my green dot? There it is. <laughs> that worked. I love the smell of Winchester gunpowder in the afternoon. Nice, that was 50 and 60. <laughs> okay. Getting down there at 60, that's going to be more challenging with the iron sights. And that's where red dots come in now some people just like the red dots like i said i like the iron sights for the close definitely like the red dots for the distance anyway, in fact let's go to the scr9 um this one is just the good old <laughs> for for some folks this is why they like kiss keep it simple stupid metal iron sights that aren't budging even when you tap on them with a hammer let's see what we can do the good old-fashioned uh kiss way with some iron sights here and i'll be honest with you guys if you're talking cp cqb and you're talking short transition i can always shoot faster and put them on target with iron sights the big thing is is in low light when i can't see my iron sights then that's when i have a huge advantage with a red dot or i'm going at distance and i know a lot of people are like why would you be shooting at 50 to 100 to 200 yards with a pistol because it's fun and I like to. And that's why I like to have red dots on my pistols. But when it comes, you know, self-defense, CQB, daylight, you cannot beat iron sights, in my opinion, even with crappy vision. Now, I will say, this feels good in the hands, guys. This STR-9 is a good shooter. Let's go 25 yards here with just the iron sights. <laughs> that's proof in the pudding <laughs> okay yeah i'm easily excitable you know just ask my soon-to-be wife uh, and she loves shooting too so she knows exactly what i'm talking about a mag dump yeah at 10 yards that's it uh, yeah okay yeah that's exciting but to do a mag dump and have them on target at 25 yards that's gonna get anybody excited says a lot about the gun. <laughs> that 
that says a lot about the recoil and how it handles and this is straight out of the box with the iron sights no way could i do that with the red dot yeah i'm shouting because i found that fun folks if you're enjoying this review do you follow my channel would you be willing to help support the channel if it costs you nothing not a zip zero hit that subscribe button that does as much as anything so hit that button I just got a new web page, Home of the Crazy Stupid Deals. You have to check it out. You will be shocked to see some of the deals that I find. You can now subscribe to be notified immediately when I find them. Cost you nothing. I did this for those of you that don't like Facebook. If you do follow Facebook, come check me out and follow me there too. If you ever shop on Amazon, simply go in through my links below in the description. Anything and everything you purchase helps support the channel. Going through my links and it costs you nothing. You can literally buy toilet paper, and this helps support the channel. Check out my company picks, the companies I purchase most often from and find most of my crazy, stupid deals on. Using these links supports the channel and keeps the reviews coming. While you're there, check out my highly rated online courses. They come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself what folks are saying about them. Bottom line, check out my webpage. Lots of good stuff there, and doing so helps support the channel. Thanks for your support. I couldn't do this without you. Okay, guns like this, they should scare the shit out of the big boys. Okay, I'm not going to mention any names. You know, the big players that are charging six, $700 a gun. Because when I can do this with a gun that's less than $300 and, you know, a lot of these coming out of Turkey, you know, these things are rock solid. They perform well. They have undergone some serious torture tests. That is awesome for you and I shooters because that is going to drive down prices. That ups the competition in our favor. All right, let's see how fast I can transition here using the iron sights. I'll start at 25 and I'll work my way over and work my way back. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay, hey, before I forget, because I'm thinking ahead now, I've got a laser light that I would like to use. We'll see. You know, I'm hoping maybe Stoger is going to let me hang on to this. I would like them to send me the back straps. I would like to try these, include these in a follow up video. Um, you know, I get to hang on to this. I'm going to include and do, uh, I can't remember the company, they sent me a laser light. And, you know, might have to do some other ones. You know, reach out 200, see what we can do with this. Um, anyway, real quick, let's just see what we can do at 100 yards with just the STR9 with iron sights. <laughs> that's not bad i want to do a follow-up especially with the optics ready haven't i want to do some more i mean that was just standing here with some wind going on i want to see what i can do benching 100 maybe 200 we're going to do the do a follow-up how far can we go with an str9 with a pistol under 300 dollars there you have it, guys. It is what it is. You decide what you think. I hope you enjoyed the video, found it helpful. If so, help support the channel. Be sure and hit that sub button. That helps more than anything else. If you haven't come and checked out my webpage, do that. Sign up for the crazy, stupid deals. When I find these for under $300, okay, I pump them out on my crazy, stupid deals, and they don't last. Okay, I keep getting all these people. Where did you find this for under $300? It was posted, but it didn't last. Anyway. Until next time, happy shooting. Educate our young people to shooting and gun safety. Every time you're out there shooting, remember you're an ambassador for the Second Amendment, so be a safe and responsible gun owner.